Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today what I'm going to do is like three people wrote me yesterday and asked if I would use the technique that I used yesterday in an art journal page to show them how uh, it worked. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, I will link it at the end of this video. You'll be able to click it. And what I did was I took stencils and stamps and made them into, you know, a piece of art, whether you can use as a background or uh, whatever you want as the main. And you could do this in a million different ways. So I thought, okay, that's something that I will do. So first I'm going to show you how um, that you can make one of these uh, stencils and then we will get to doing our journal page and I'm just going to do it in my tablet sideways unless I find my art journal before then. So this is a piece of printer paper that I did uh, I cut this out of and what I did was I went into a magazine and I got a silhouette or you can draw a silhouette it doesn't matter you can see there's different um, different kinds and once I drew it, and you can draw it on a piece of paper first or whatever, this is a file folder. This is a piece of paper. And I just drew it and then I cut it out. And I did it with a exacto knife because it makes it much easier because then you'll get the piece from it. Um, so you'll have both parts and I'll show you that in a second. So like I said, this is a file folder that I make my stencils out of. Um, you get like such bang for your buck because you can buy the plastic file folders at your local Staples or office supply store and you can get 50 of them. And in return, that gives you a hundred, you know, of the cover and back that you can cut from, or you can just buy one and do, you know, you can get two stencils out of it when you cut. So I use it in this. And like I said, also, if you don't have the money or you don't have it around um, and you want to start, you can just use a piece of printer paper and then I put packing tape on top of it. You can use duct tape or whatever um, over top of it before I, I would advise before you cut it, I would probably put tape on the front and the back and then I would trace or draw or whatever and then cut it out and then it preserves it. Today I'm going to use, this is just, you can buy this from Plaid or anybody really. A lot of companies make these. Um, you can get them at Staples as well. They're not Plaids, but they're other, you know, you can get stencil uh, blanks. Amazon, you know, your craft store go, you get usually three or six in a pack. Use your coupon. It's good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide which one of these I'm going to use in my journal. Now, if I cut this out, I'm going to have to draw it first and then cut it out. This, I just have to trace. But I like the feet. Ugh, what do I want to do? Maybe I'll just do both since I'm sitting here. Let's see. So you want to use a permanent marker or a pen or something like that. And I want to keep... I'll just trace this. I want to keep, you know, some out because obviously when I cut this, then I will have both parts here and an extra part, but who cares? So I'm just going to go around and trace. Let's hope it's tracing. Like I said, you can use any kind of marker you have, just something to show up on the plastic. Pencil, if you know. Okay, and you see how that comes up. So that's one. And then I can cut that out. And then this will be the other one. And I might cut it through this. And you can see it's. I, I use it. I use it a lot. Okay. And then you'll go and you'll just trace. And what we're doing is we're making a stencil and a mask. 
and I'm not worrying too much how much texture, you know, how much exactly this is going to match it. And again, this was just made from a magazine, a picture in a magazine. And like I said, I'll, I'll link videos at the end. But you can see this is, you know, what you get. Oops, I'm about to, I'm about to finish that. Because otherwise I'll just make up my own way. And so you just lay it back on. No big deal. It's done. And then, like I said, you know, take what you have. If you don't have an X-Acto knife, use, you know, use what you have. And I'm just going to use, because I don't have my cutting uh, nylon here, vinyl here right now, um, so it doesn't cut my non-stick non um, mat, I'm just going to put it on a piece of cardboard on the back of a, a notebook. And then I'm going to go in, and you want to make sure your knife's sharp. Mine probably is not, because I use it all the time. And just go in and follow the lines the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And once you do cut it out with this, you can always, you know, if you want to go in and trim it up a little bit. Like I said, because I have RA and fibro, it makes it really hard sometimes to do this. But that's why having a very sharp knife, I have to get Dave to change my blade. Having a very sharp knife is is key. You know what I got? I got it from Blitzy. Let me, maybe I should try it. Where is it? What did I do with it? Oh, gosh. I have my snubby on because I'm a bit chilly today. It is, uh, let's see if this works. I ordered this from Blitzy. It was like $2.99. It's a safety cutter. Matter of fact, Blitzy has a lot of good sales going on. And if you're not used, to, if you don't know what Blitzy is, it's a uh, craft place that online that sells everything from A to Z. I mean, every kind of craft thing you could possibly want: journals and paints and stencils and oh god, everything. Clay. Come on, you. So I'll link Blitzy down below. It is fantastic. They have the Dilutions, they have the Tim Holtz new ma uh, ink pads, scissors, everything. Oh my God, they're making this. Who's supposed to be able to get this out? I don't know. Okay. How do we use it now? There's the little knife right there. That's it? I guess so. Okay. okay. The little knife is right there let's see that's how we'll know oh it's cutting like butter oh yeah oh yeah that cut through really good huh that's nice it's just supposed to be a little safety cutter so hmm interesting Let's see how far I got on this. Maybe I can use this. Yeah, cut that right out. I'm going to have to read the directions. I don't know if I can make that come out more or change it or make it sharper. I've never used this brand before for this. But you can see it's cutting it like nobody's business look at that hmm. and this is ek tools slice micro ceramic blade safety cutter hmm. nice nice and like i said this was only a couple bucks
little bit right there. That's it. All right, so now a little rough, but we got we got the ins and we got the outs. So now, like I said, you can go and you can, um, you know, trim up a little bit if you want. Because like I said, it doesn't have to be exact, exact. And you don't want these little pieces, but you just kind of cut them and I mean, it's not any worse for wear. And then what I will do is I will cut, even though it's cut mostly, and then I will cut this out at another time. Okay. So now we're on the ball. So one of the ways I would use this is I would take my art journal. I'm going to fold this in half as if, you know, we were doing it in the journal. Because if you're using a piece of um, printer paper or whatever, this is how you would do it. Get these little scrunchies off. Like that. And then you could start this because remember, you don't have to have an art journal to do an art journal page. You can do, uh, make sure you cover your knife. Oh, there's my good one right there. Um, you can um, do them separately. Do the inside, you know whatever and then we you can attach them in like this so it doesn't ruin you know so there's there's ways to attach them at the end if you don't if you don't uh have the ability to have a journal right now all right so i'm going i'm not gonna um i don't think i'm gonna gesso it today i think i'm gonna go with some yellows and pinks so i'm gonna start with some yellow you know i've been loving and using a lot of lately is my delusion so let me get this color is a lemon zest and it's dilutions paints it's just acrylic paint but i've been trying to use up all my paints that i have you know my older ones um just to kind of clean out some stuff and i'm gonna take a big brush i'm gonna dip it in and these are nice they dry fast as well and I'm only working on one side right now today. So I will be working on this side, but what I'm going to do, let me move my camera back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use this as my, where I wipe things off at. So then I'm starting another page without working on it. And you can tape this down before you work. You can do whatever, but you see, I'm just kind of doing that. And then I'm going to clean my brush off. Now I'm trying to build up the background. So I want to make sure that I'm kind of drawing it for the most part. It doesn't have to be perfect. Put this away from you. And now I will grab, I think we're going to grab pink. I'm going to grab bubble gum. Bubble gum. Using the same brush. I think. Do I have any of my stencils here? Or did my stencils go? I just want to add a little bit of. Oh, maybe I'll do wings. Oh. Maybe I'll do that. Let's see. I can always go over it if I don't. one and then i gotta turn it which is gonna make it i gotta wipe off some of this extra pink because remember this was a heart stencil i made on a cardboard box so 
I didn't uh, tape it. It's pretty much still. And then I'll kind of try to line it up the best I can. Doesn't really matter. Probably should have. Probably should have uh, mixed my paint as well, but. Yeah, I should have mixed my paint a little bit. It's a little bit runny. But work with it. There, it becomes, it becomes the uh, other side's problem. It's like one of those uh, Horshack or Warshack uh, things. What does this remind you of? And remember, a paper towel or art, I call them art rags, you know, paper towel or whatever becomes your best friend because just go and, you know, put this on and it'll pick up whatever's left. So it's not that big of a deal. Okay. I want to add, I think I'm going to add some blue. So this is the Vibrant Turquoise, and I'm going to give this a shake. And I'll put her away. I probably won't use any more of this. Who knows, though? We're just making it very simple. I just want to show you how you can incorporate it in a little bit. That's a thick one. And I think some of this yellow still might be a little wet. Okay, so now I'm going to take just a, whatever you have, round, fluffy brush, and I want to kind of hit it on these edges. some of the places where there's some white. All right, get these wiped off over here. And then I'm gonna take my other brush and I'm gonna, I want it wet, but not too wet. So I'm gonna, you know, get most of that out. And then I'm gonna go in and kind of blend a little bit so it's not so, and remember, this is printer paper or sketch paper. Um, it's thin, and I did not put any gesso on it. So, you know, don't be, uh, if you're using the same kind, especially if you're using printer paper, don't be, uh, don't get upset or nervous or anything if it starts softening up or, you know, what have you. This is just softening that paint up a little bit, um, you know. You can go in and this adds a little bit of texture on some of the wet that's left. That's it. You can kind of do that. So for now, before I continue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to lay my girl down. Those wings might be a little too big for her. Let's see. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll go back in with her. Okay. And I'm going to lay it. Kind of to the wings, and like you can see, the wings are going to be a little, a little wide, and that's okay. Now, when you do it, you just watch it, but that's just because of the way it worked out. No big deal. And we're going to use, let's use fluorescent green. This is called Fresh Lime. Ooh, okay. And. I'm going to take a dauber. You can use a makeup sponge. You can go to the dollar store and get a big package of them. 
and use them. I'm just going to daub it in. I'm just going to give it a little. Let's see. Get out of here. Hey, get out of here. Go. Gosh darn cats. No, it's not going to go on as, <coughs> excuse me, as um opaque as I want it. I want it to be fairly opaque. I might have to use the darker green, huh? I guess we'll see. But you see that I dried underneath the turquoise. It dried very quick because I thinned it out. Um, and you can see this will cover. If it's still wet, what it will blend. And then, you know, it's just going to blend and be a mess. This way, everything's fairly dry. And it'll be covered. And the only thing I would do is I will hit it with my heat gun. And as you can see, going over the pink is going to be a challenge. Might have to do darker green. We'll see. So we'll give that a second to dry and then I just want to, that's why I wanted to tap because I kind of wanted to tap on the color just so it would cover it a little bit better. There we go. And here's the thing, well, I'm, I, I want to show you the premise of what you can do on here. Because we're going to put, we're going to use a stencil and a stamp over top of it. Um, and what that's going to do is help cover up whatever's underneath. But for now, we have that. Okay. Now, I'm thinking I should have used the darker green. So what I'm going to do, because I'm a mess that way, I'm going to put this away. And look, dry it all the way. Use purple. Use, you know, use whatever you want. But I think maybe I will use purple now that I said that. Oh. Or blue. I don't know. This is crushed grape. Give it a little shake. These are all. Yeah. Oh, look at that color. And it's coming up blue on my camera. I don't know why. Oh, geez, it does look blue, but it is purple. It is purple, purple, purple. So what I'm going to do is dry this for a second around the edges. Now you see I'm hitting it with my heat gun and it's getting hot. And also look at this. It looks like there's a leg started there and there is no leg here. So I'm going to have to put a little bit of the, I'm just going to use my finger, just a little bit of that blue because I don't want it to take away from what we're doing. Because I didn't do the legs. <laughs> that just happened to happen, right? Okay. So now I'm going to take my red back here and I'm going to line it up just as it was. See how easy that is? And then I'm going to take a different paintbrush because I've ruined every, I mean, I got all the other ones dirty. I'll just use this kind of bad boy. I'm going to go in like that. Start on the outside. Now I can leave that middle green if I want. You know, who knows? We'll see. But I think I'm going to go all the way in. Who knows? And 
you want to make sure you hear me hitting. You don't want to like drag it because if you drag it, you are going to get some of that wet green that's still in there. And, you know, if you can help it, if it's a little damp or you don't have patience and you don't, you know, to dry all the way, you want to, you know, make sure you pound it. Oh my God, my cat just, uh, <sighs> joy. Okay. So there you go. And you see on this other side, we have some paint. I can always turn it over and kind of go pat it just to get off some of that, you know, and now I have that there. Okay. So now I want to dry this, get this cat out of here. One second. Okay. Ugh, that's going to take me an hour to clean up now. That's wonderful. But you can see we covered all that green underneath. And I know you're wondering, well, how are we going to stencil on there with a stamp? How are we going to, you know, do whatever? And I'll show you. It'll be easy. Plus, remember, you don't have to use a stamp pad or paint. Use your white gel pen or a white marker or a different color marker, you know? Okay, so I'm going to be done with the purple. Now, the hearts, like I said, they're kind of like the wings. So I am going to take a white gel pen, and I'm going to see if I can kind of, I'm going to do it on the inside to kind of, see, I like the little squigglies on the outside. You see, I'm just going back and forth on that side, and then I'm going to do the same here. Nothing major. If you do not have a white gel pen, use white paint and a, and a paintbrush. It doesn't matter. Don't uh, get hung up on what you do and don't have. Just use what you have. Same here. I'll just go down, and then I'll go back up. This one's not as, uh, so I'm going to take it on the outside there a little bit. Yeah. Can you see? Just gives it a little bit of something. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably put something and paint over this because it is kind of the illusion of kind of running. Unless, maybe I'll do this. Maybe that'll be a little easier for me. Because my eye goes there, even though I know that it's, right? Okay, so we have that. Now, what would, you know, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to take a stamp and we're going to take a stencil. So I'm just going to dry this a little more. Now I'm going to show you what the mask does. The mask will cover this for when I want to do some outside, outside work. Now you can tell I cut this a little smaller. I'm not going to worry about it, but I am going to take, I think I'm going to do, shit, let's just do orange. Let's just do orange. Um, this is squeezed orange. Like that. And I'm deciding whether I want to use my uh, little dauber or do I want to use, or no, because that just <laughs> fell. We're not using the dog word today. It's going to lay there with my dog. And we're going to use, we're going to use our punchinella. 
Now I did get asked, I mean, I guess I could use this. I did get asked to show how to use this because a lot of you have them and don't have Punchinella. So maybe that's what I'll do. And what this means is, and I can make masks for the wings as well, but as I go and dab this on, it's not going to get on the um, body that I did. I just spent all that time doing. So I'm going to take a paintbrush. I'm going to take, I'm going to go into my orange. I'm going to hold it down. And you'll see it's going to make everything kind of come together a little bit. Okay. And then give it a, you know, give it a look, leave it dry. Now you hear me patting it, right? That is what I find if I'm doing over another color, if I pat it on, like I said in the other, when I was doing the other part, if I pat it on like this, it covers better than painting it up and down. Okay, so now I'll lift it up and we're having some, we're having some dots, some circles, and I can go down here. I could turn it like this. Lay it down. And you see, I'm going over that again. It's going to look as if it was laid down before. Now, I'm not going to go over the wings. I can, can kind of control that with this. And it's okay that some of the color underneath shows through because it's just, it's they're pretty colors and it is what it is, you know? Make sure you get those ones that are only on there halfway. Get these little ones. Now I got this at Staples, this, but AC Moore has them. And I know you guys keep writing me, asking me for giveaways for them. And I do have to go pick them up. I just haven't done it. But it is one of my favorite things. Okay. So we'll lift up. And you see how that's okay. So I'm going to set that there for a second. I'm going to rinse that. And what about if I do, maybe I'll do smaller ones. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to wipe this off real quick in case I want to do more colors but what is fun is and convenient I guess is the better word is when I lift this off okay I have you see I got the dots and that kind of thing and I can wipe this off this because it's plastic or if you have tape on it it'll come off or whatever leave it dry it doesn't matter but if I want to go back to do dots this way, then I can lay it down again. I don't have to worry, which I might do. But I'm going to hit this with the heat gun to dry. And if you don't have a heat gun, use a hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer at your local thrift store, Goodwill, they have them for a couple bucks. Or like I always say, just leave it sit and dry for five minutes. What's your favorite YouTuber? Watch a video. Listen to a couple songs. Not bad. Okay, now I'm going to take my, make sure it's dry. This dries so fast. I'm going to take this. I'm going to lay this over it again. Okay, we're going to do the next part. And I'm going to, I, I love these dots. Now I'm looking, I was looking for, Oh, or should I do, maybe I'll do leopard. I was looking for my, um, 
other dots that I have that were just round and I couldn't find them. Now, if you have Punchinella, if you have this, maybe I'll use this again, just to be, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll use it again because I know, you know, a lot of you have. And then I think I'm just going to go in with this bad boy again, but you can use whatever stamp you have. Um, you know, I have, this is a little bit bigger, but this I want a little smaller because the area is a little smaller. And I'm going to use some yellow dilutions paint. Now use whatever paint you have. You can use whatever ink pad you have. Don't be, uh, you know, don't worry. Just use the same yellow that you used in here. Folk art's fantastic. It's it's all good. But I just happen to have this sitting here. So I'm going to dry off my brush. I'm going to go in here a little bit. And I'm going to just lightly, look at that, how it picks up. The ink's dry under there from the other day. I like to go this way, one way, and then the next way. Okay, way. Now I'm going to go. And I'm going to see it. That's what happened last time because there was no cushion under there. I'm going to have to put my cushion under there, which is my mouse pad. Excuse me. Or you could put, you know, if you have a few uh, towels or paper towels or something of that nature. Because it just doesn't give any push. All right. So we'll try this again. Let's go in because I want it to stay wet and this dries fast. And I did spray the other day, just the lightest spray of water. I'm going to stand up because I don't, it's very hard for me to do this with my hands sometimes. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to give it all I got. Oh, and you're seeing everything on me. Okay. It's a going good. I'm pushing more on the stamp in the area that I want. And turn your stamp because your ink's going to be in different places. Yeah. And you see how we're laying that down in different. No, I mean, you might have a different way to do it. This is just what I'm doing right now. But you can see you have all this goodness left. Make sure you stamp it off on something. Okay, so now I'm going to give this just a quick dry. It's all right, because remember, we can put it right back on there. And like I said, I was going to use my leopard. You can use whatever you have as your pattern. It just, it's, you know, go and do circles today. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to lay this back down right there. I'm going to do this and then just give it the one squirt of water just to kind of liquefy it a little bit better. Yeah, the water does help too. Definitely helps because the paint's thick, you know. See that and then we'll go right here on the head and I probably have enough ink to do this let's see come on now baby be good to mommy okay all right okay and then go in and you know like if you're like oh you know what I want a little bit more here go ahead do your thing Maybe this little baby one there. Yep. I, I love doing this. I can't help it. Okay. There we go. Just a little bit of the yellow. Make sure you turn your stamp. So you're getting all that good, delicious ink everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So, lift it up. 
And you see? And as it's drying down, it's, you know, it's mixing a little bit with the purple, but it doesn't matter. You can, you know, do whatever you want. I'm going to lay in this here. I'm going to put the lid on because I know how I am. And I think, you know what, I think what I'm going to do, and look, if you're using paint, wipe it off. I'm going to squirt it and then I will wipe it off after just so it stays wet for me. Um, but make sure you wipe it off. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of yellow dots here with this rest of this paint. Just kind of swirl it in. Not worrying too much that it's as opaque as I want it. Just kind of, you know, adding a little bit. Yeah, you see? You can see how it mixes a little bit and gets green. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. See, look, that's already all the way dry. It's, I'm not, it's not even letting me pick up anything. I'm just going to go here. I'm not going to worry too much. Just adding a little bit. Okay, that's it. All right. Now you can wipe your circle thing off if it bothers you. And I am wiping mine off only because I use this to draw and I don't want it to have any, um, I, I mean, you can see I've used this with paint a million times, but I don't want any paint pieces necessarily to make it not lay flat. So I take the second to do it. Stamps and all that kind of stuff and regular stencils for the most part, I never clean them because, you know, I use them like that. All right. Give this a little hit in here. And really, that's all I'm doing. That's it. Not a big deal. Not a lot of, you know, fuss or that kind of thing. You can just add it in. You can add it. You can now go and, um, you know, you can edit this as much as you want to. Like I said, I could have went in and cut some of this arm off. To make the wings a little bigger i don't really care it doesn't matter to me i'm not going for uh you know i'm just kind of going for an abstracty kind of you know art journal page could be you could make this smaller and you could make it in your uh, as an atc you can put it on a canvas you can do whatever but it's just fun and you know i'm just doing my stamp there but you know you can go in with your white paints with your white marker um black marker and add some doodles, add some glitter. And all it stemmed from was a picture in a magazine. And that's it. You can go and, you know, do stuff with the dots and, and, uh, doodle in them. I mean, really you could do whatever you want. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. I help, I hope that this, uh, helped you guys who wrote me, um, uh, the names I'm horrible with names, Becca, there's three of them, Becca, I want to say Sharon. I can't remember the last one, I know, but you guys know who you are. And yeah, I hope this helped all of you. Um, I'd love to see what you guys do. Like I said, this is just out the magazine, a lot of fun. And you can use a piece of printer paper, not a big deal. So let me know what you guys think. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy uh, my videos and enjoy this video, because this is kind of for beginners as well. Um, and I know some of the intermediate people and beyond, you know, beginners, this could, you know, be something that you play with as well. Oh, that's it. I got so much in my head today. So 
As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. If you're new to my channel and you would like to be, please click that subscribe button down below so you can, uh, no, you got to click the notification bell next to it, duh, uh, for them to notify you when I upload, which is usually five to six times a week. And you can always write me. All my information is down below. Don't forget to check out Blitzy. That link is down below as well. It is, you will just, oh God, the jewelry uh, making stuff and mixed media and oh, watercolor. It is a fan. You'll sit there for hours looking at things and make sure you check out their clearance section because that's a great section as well. And share me around everywhere because I appreciate it greatly. I love you guys so very much. Look, this is progress, not perfection. We are playing, having fun. And any other ideas you guys want me to do, let me know. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.